Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Patriot. This is the channel where my sidekick and I, we travel up and down the state of Florida hitting different gun shows, bringing you the prices on the ammo, rifles, pistols, and accessories. But before we get started with today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to all 15,332 subscribers. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making content like this. Speaking of content, you guys support the Second Amendment. You guys love your freedom ticks and freedom seeds. Do me a favor, drop a like down below. Subscribe to this channel with the bell notifications on. That way you guys get notified of future videos. Now, before we get started, I want to mention all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because of you guys that we can bring all these cool gun show videos that you can view for free. It's because of those guys supporting me over there on Patreon. If you like this channel and you want to support us, honestly, that's the best way to do it. Or if you don't have Patreon, you can use Super Thanks right here on YouTube. Both links will be down in the description below. All right, guys, with all that being said, let's head to... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video that was a hell of a drive it was over two and a half hours almost three hour drive each way so it's gonna be a six hour drive to this gun show again i've never been to this gun show it's a first time here it's got to be a good gun show i've heard so many good things about this show so enough talking let's get inside and see what kind of good offers we can find absolutely insane look how big this show is oh i cannot wait to get in here and show you guys everything that these tables have to offer enough talking let's get up in there so I was checking out this guy's table. He has all kinds of cool stuff down there. He has a AR-15 and a pistol. You can see that guy holding it right now. It's like 1300 bucks and some other rifles down there, but this one's kind of cool. You got the uh, AR-12S 12 gauge shotgun with the drum and the 320 coming in at just, oh, just under 1100 bucks. Again, you got the shotgun AR-12 12 gauge with the drum and the six hour P320 coming in at 1100 bucks actually not if for anything the name is catching you got the biden bundle 1400 bucks you got the ar-15 and a shotgun best deal for an ar-15 out of show is what they say again you got the ar-15 you got the shotgun you got the six hour romeo coming in at 1400 bucks and they've named it the biden bundle finally something biden's good for all right, and for all you Glock fanboys out there, we have the Glock 23 Gen 5. This one's coming in at 569. And then we also have, let's see, the Glock 26 Gen 5. This one's coming in at 569. We have the Glock 29. Uh, this one is Gen 4. This one's coming in at 569. Uh, Glock 28, Glock 27 Gen 5. We also have, let's see, the Glock uh, 30S. This one's coming in at 469. But the Glock 30, and I believe the Glock 31 Gen 4, this one's coming in at 555. Slide on down just a little bit further. We got some more Glocks. We got the Glock 43. This one's coming at 439. We also have the Glock 45. This one's coming in at 600. We have the Glock 47. This one's coming in at 689. Slide on down over here. We have the Glock 44. This one is 22LR. In case you don't know, it actually feels like, in my opinion, a piece of crap. It feels well it is plasticky there's no metal inside of it it's coming in at 400 bucks and then over here oh wait no more glocks let's see the last glock we'll do was the glock 45 uh free night sights this one's coming in at 585 so there you go there's for all my glock fanboys now let's get into some real guns <laughs> all right here you can see we have the sig p365x macro with a compensator on the front the flat face trigger, texture grip, uh, 17 plus one. I actually picked this up a little while ago and it was cheaper than that price. Yeah, that's still a good price though. $800, I guess is a good price. We also have the six hour P320. This is the M18 coming in at 689. We also have another 320. This one uh, has the flare, flare Magwell flat face trigger. You got the uh, threaded barrel. This one's coming in at 899. Slide on down a little bit further. Check this out. 
you got the 320. This one has the fold-out. I've never actually seen one at a gun show, and it's coming in at $1,500, $1,500. And then last but not least, we have some FNs. You got the FN. Uh, this one's coming in at $1,149. This is a uh, 45 ACP. We also have another one up here. This is a 10 millimeter. This one's coming in at 1200 bucks. Now here's something I've never seen at a gun show. We got a BAR. This one's coming in at $9,299. Again, we got the BAR. Absolutely beautiful. I tried to get Preston to take a picture of me holding it, but that didn't work too well, did it, Preston? Hashtag don't tell mommy. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm actually recording. Chill, kid, chill. Thing is absolutely dope. I tried to pick it up. I didn't realize it swiveled. And I almost dropped it. That that would have been a catastrophe. This thing weighs a good 50 pounds. Because Mario Land is in Orlando. We're in Miami. Long ways away. Again, BAR. Absolutely beautiful. These guys at Lead Feather, absolutely dope ass guns. Look at this one, you got the 50 BMG. I don't know the price. Gorgeous though. Now we're good, bro. Thank you. I'm still over here at my boys from Lead Feather. You can see we have a couple of descents. I haven't seen any of these at the gun show yet. So these were coming in just over two grand. We have two different color descents over here. We also have the Six Hour MCX. This one's coming in at $2,700. Multi caliber, $2,700 Six Hour MCX. Got another one right here, the MCX. This one is 762. This one is coming in at $2,800. These guys got some really good freedom sticks here. I love to see what they have. Something just caught my eye. Let's slide on down a little bit. Press and scoot over. We have another descent, but we also have the Banshee. This one's coming in at $1,600. Don't have a Banshee, but I have a good feeling this is going to be my next freedom stick. So again, my boys here are at Lead Feather. If you guys like what they see and you guys want to get a hold of them, here is how you do it. I'm over here at TF Defense. Take a look at, at their custom engraving. You got this Kimber right here. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this one. I don't know if you can see the one in the back. Absolutely beautiful. And they got a couple more down here. You got this revolver, uh, Colt revolver, and then you also have this Glock sitting off to the side. Absolutely beautiful custom engraving that they do here at TF Defense. Coming up first, you can see we have the Six Hour MPX. This one's coming in just under $2,000. And we also have the Six Hour MPX. This is the PCC pistol caliber carbine. This one's coming in just a little bit more at $2,200. Slide on down a little bit more. We have the Six Hour PMCX. This one's coming in at five and a half inches. And they're wanting $2,500 for this bad boy. And then last but not least, we have Preston. Just kidding, he's not for sale. We have six hour PM 400. This one, they're asking just over $1,000. Actually $1,099, my bad. Came across something I haven't seen at the other gun shows. We got the Maxims, you got the PDX Black. This one is 762 by 39. So look at that bad boy. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. Absolutely beautiful. Again, 762 by 39. You also have one that's a 556 version, PDX. Basically the same thing, just shoots a smaller round. And then for all you that can't handle the 762 or the 556, we have the 9mm version. Two tone coming in just at two grand. And then last but not least, we have the Scorpion EVO. This one's coming in at 975. It's pretty much the going price no matter where I go. 975, it was 1300. Now 975. It's pretty cool. Drop a comment down below. Would you like to have one of these? Do you have one of these or does it not pique your interest? More Scorpions, 750, CZ Scorpion. 
was a thousand coming down to 750 tell you what if you're ever looking for a henry golden boy or not doesn't matter shoot straight seems to have a ton of golden boys all the time ton of henry's now yes they have some but their prices are kind of expensive so we have a henry this is the 22 lever uh 4.99 we also have a, another 22 5.99 22 here we got they got the golden boy over here again 22 for 700 bucks kind of expensive 700 dollars for a golden boy 22 lr i think i'll pass all right came across some more interesting we got a romanian ak-47 coming in at 900 bucks also have a sentry arms a bft 47 this is 762 by 39 this one's coming in at just under a thousand dollars i do have a veteran special bring it down to 850 you also have the Pioneer AK-47 pistol or rifle. Both are coming in at $7.99. And these are uh, $7.62 by $39. We have this uh, Century Arms Draco. It is $7.62 by $39 coming in at, well, it says $1,100, but it also says $900. So I'm assuming it's $900. And then we have some micros coming in at $1,200. Drop a comment down below. Do you like the micro? Do you not like the micro? Do you have one? Is it on your bucket list? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. Here you can see we have a couple different versions of the GX4 made by Taurus. We have the 9mm coming in at 319. It is coming in in 10. We also have the GX4 XL. Um, also 9mm. This one's 30 bucks more coming in at 350. And then we have the Taurus TX 22LR. Um, obviously 22LR. This one's coming in at 300 bucks. Light as hell. It's probably maybe a pound or two. It's super light. Feels like there's no metal inside the at all. Here we go. Came across a couple Rock Island 1911s. This one is kind of interesting. Three inch ported barrel 1911 45 ACP. Uh, they want $6.99 for that. And then you also have the Rock Island M1 1911. I'm sorry, M1911 A1 CSP. This one's coming in at 600 bucks. I love the way it looks. Rock Island, I'm not sure about the quality. Drop a comment down below. You let me know. Is the quality good? Is it not good? 600 bucks for a 1911? I don't know. All right, here you can see we have the M1A SOCOM. This one's coming in 762. Bad boy is beautiful, but not as beautiful as the M1A coming in at $2,000. Absolutely gorgeous. If I had $2,000, I'd walk out with it right now. Ah, dream big. Kind of sad. You got the FN Scar. This is the 16S just sitting here all by itself. Maybe all of his, but all of his buddies were adopted yesterday, but here he is sitting all by himself. Kind of sad. Hey there, lonely boy. All right, came across a couple of Kimbers. We have the Kimber uh, Sapphire 2 Ultra. This one is 1900 bucks. With that beautiful sapphire color. And then we have the Kimber Special Edition. This is the Rose Gold coming in at 1900 bucks as well. I don't know. I like the sapphire a little bit better. But over here, we have some Kimber. We have 1911 Ultras. Looks like they're all coming in at $3,000, except for this one. You got the Kimber Custom 2. This one's coming in at $900, bucks, but it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. For example, this one has the slide slide cuts. You also have the port of barrel with the optic. You're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to pay, what, two grand more. So, I don't know. Is it worth it? Me, personally, this Kimber right here will do the job just fine. All right, came across some FNs. You have the FN 509cc Edge. This one's coming in at $1,400. And then right above it, we have the FN 509LS Edge. This one also is coming in at $1,400. And to slide over a little bit, we have the FN 509C. Sorry, Preston. Just smacked him in the head. And then last but not least, we have the original FN 509 Tactical Black. This one is coming in at 900 bucks. It does have threaded barrels, so there's that positive to it, right? You okay, P-Bear? You okay? Sorry, kid. Look at these bad boys. 
absolutely beautiful. We got the Desert Eagle. This one's gold, obviously $4,000. Look at this bad boy. 44 mag. Ooh. One day. Dream big, right? One day. How much is this Desert Eagle? Uh, they want two grand for that one. Got a ton of Magnum Research 1911s. Looks like they're all coming in at just under $1,000. Feels absolutely solid in the hand. And then we have some baby eagles. Good, bro. How are you? Some Magnum Research baby eagles. This one's coming in at just under 1900 or 19 Just under $900. Me, personally, I think that would be worth $900. $900 well spent. We also have an IWI Masada. This is 9mm coming in at $500. IWI Masada coming in at $500. Bucks. All right, here you can see we have this CZP... Oh, sorry about that. CZP10C. Wow, that was hard to say. CZP10C. This one is coming in, I believe, at $600. Yes, it is. We'll slide over a little bit further because we have the CZSP01. This is the 20, 21 round version with the blue grips. This one's coming in at $1,300. 9 millimeter SP01 CZ75 coming in at $1,300. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, Preston? We're not going to Mario Land. Hashtag don't tell mommy. Ton of Smith & Wesson revolvers. You got the 357 mag. You have a 44 magnum. You have the 22 LR. You have a 9 millimeter. Um, basically anything and everything. 44 mag sitting up here. That one's coming in at 1600 bucks. Any Smith & Wesson mag. A Smith & Wesson mag. Any Smith & Wesson revolver. Seems like they have it right here at the Miami Gun Show. All right, here you can see we came across a Wilson Combat. This is the Wilson Combat EDC, 9mm in case you didn't know, coming in at $2,700. We also have the Wilson Combat SFX9 right up here. This is 9mm coming in at $3,000. Now, just to the side, we have some Staccatos. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know much about Staccatos. So, we have a Staccato 9mm. This one's coming in at $2,500. We also have the Staccato 2011 XL. Uh, optic ready. This is uh, nine millimeter as well. This one is coming in at four thousand uh, dollars. Let's see. We have a Staccato 2011 XL Iron Sight. This one is coming in at nine nine millimeter nine. This one is nine millimeter coming in at thirty five hundred. And then last but not least, we have the Staccato P twenty eleven. Uh, this one is 9mm. This one's coming in at $3,000. Drop a comment down below. Do you know anything about staccatos? Do you like staccatos? Have you shot it? Is it on your bucket list? L drop a comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys hear about the concealed carry class getting ready to go on? In case you guys haven't gotten your license and you do want your license, you can use my code below and save yourself. 10 bucks on getting your license again the link will be in the description below we also have the qr code in the beginning of the video scan that qr code use my promo code florida patriot fl patriot save yourself 10 bucks okay Doug, we've been here an hour we've already done all those tables over there still have all these tables over here and then i just realized there's more over there if you guys like stuff that goes boom and if you guys like different freedom sticks some burn some shoot some blow up some are things i cannot say on youtube without getting in trouble i would highly recommend you check out engineered by pow they have everything you could possibly think of from tasers to co2 pellet guns to flamethrowers to dark guns um, anything and everything that like i said that goes boom i would highly recommend you check out engineered by pow all right, guys, we're at a new vendor. We're at the Pompano Pawn and Gun. You can see he has a couple of different Glocks here. We have the Glock uh, 48. This one's coming in at 635. Over here, we have the Glock 45. This one's coming in at 699. Uh, we also have, let's see, the Glock 20 Gen 5. This one's coming in at 700 bucks. It is 10 millimeter. We also have the Glock. Let's see, the Glock 44 Gen 5. This one's coming in at 800 bucks. And then all the way up here, we have some. Desert Eagles, you have the 44 mag. This one's coming in at 27.5. We also have the 50 AE. This one's coming in at 
just over 2100 bucks and then right next to that we have another 50 ae this one's coming in at 2100 dollars all right same vendor just sliding on down the table just a little bit further we have this shadow cz this one is nine millimeter coming in at 1500 bucks i actually like the shadow cz and then we also have the cz 75d this one is compact coming in at 800 bucks now be nice because i've never heard of the fmk but here we have the fmk mach 9 g3 this one is nine millimeter coming in at 375 and then for all you sissy boys out there we have a nice purple one fmk coming in at 375 all right, here you can see we have a bunch of different 320s, but the one I really want to show you is this one, the 320 AXG. This one's coming in at $1,349. It is 9mm with the cuts on the slide, fat face trigger, flared magwell, nice grip. Again, this is the 6-hour AXG coming in at $1,350. It is 9mm. We also have the 6-hour M11A1, 9mm coming in at $1,400. All right, here we have some 1911s. We have the Second Amendment is a civil right. This is 45 coming in at 1445. I like that a lot. America first. That is beautiful. We also have the Don't Tread on Me. Uh, this one's coming in at $1,400. Auto Ordinance 1911. Don't Tread on Me on one side. Liberty Death on the other side. $1,400. And we also have the Distressed Look. This one is coming in, I believe, at 1500 bucks. Same thing, auto ordinance, 1911 A1, 1500 bucks. Kind of cool. But this one really caught my eye. You got the Kimber. I absolutely love Kimbers. This one's coming in at 1800 bucks. You got the Kimber Rapide. That beautiful gray on silver two tone look. Love it. Here you can see we have a bunch of Henry Golden Boys. We have the 410 side gate coming in at 1200 bucks. And we also have the Henry 4570. This one's coming in at 1400 bucks. Slide on down a little bit further. We have the MPX 9mm coming in at $2,300. Seen that a couple times at the show, and I think that price is just a little bit high. But over here we have, see how much you are. We have the six hour, oops, sorry, Preston. Uh, 762 by 39. I keep smacking him in the head with my elbow. I hit him like five times. Sorry, P Bear. Um, this one's coming in at $2,400. Make sure you smile because you're on camera. I uh, got the 6-hour MPX3. Uh, this one, 9mm, the Rattler, coming in at $2,400. And then up here, we have the Thompson Auto Ordnance 1927, 45-caliber, 18-inch barrel length, $4,100 for that bad boy. Just look at that. All right, slide on down a little bit further. We have the Stag 15. This one is 5.56, uh, coming in at just over a thousand bucks. And then we have a bunch more rifles all the way down, AK-47s and so on and so on and so on. If you guys like what you see and you guys want to get a hold of this vendor here, is how you do it. There's just too much to, to show, so I'm gonna try to skip through. I just skip through all this. I'm gonna skip through all this. We're gonna skip through all this. A ton of body armor. Looks like the crowd's starting to thin out. It's getting closer to five o'clock. Well, it's three o'clock, but people start to pack up now. A ton of targets. A ton of cases. And then a ton more. Oh, I got a ton more shotguns and rifles. Nothing that catches my eye. A couple AK-47s. And some micros. I got the Sig Sours. Everything we've already seen. You got the new HK. Literally have to bypass all this just to get to the other half of the gun show, which is all over there. So one half of the gun show took three hours. Let's see what I can do with the other half of the gun show in less than two hours. But again, bypassing all this, nothing that catches my eye, just a bunch of revolvers, pistols. Preston likes walking this fast, huh, P-Bear? <laughs> uh, go around these dudes.
Yeah, nothing exciting. All right, let's go to the other half of the gun show. Come on, P. Okay, Pui Bear. Now, here's something we don't see at the gun shows where I frequently visit. Check out all these swords. Things are actually pretty cool. How much is this bad boy? 79 bucks for this double-edged sword or axe. My bad. On sale, 100 bucks for all these swords. These are actually really cool. For the pair of 40 bucks for each one. This thing's badass. Deluxe spike for 50 bucks. Check these out. Peace pipe tomahawk. <laughs> That's cool. That is dope. Smoke that peace pipe. That's pretty cool. What, people? Oh, it's cold again? All right, let's go. I've seen a lot of Henry's, but I've never seen one quite like this. Coming in at, well, it was 1100 but now it's marked off 100 bucks. So coming in at $1,000 is the Henry 22LR. Actually, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I want to like it, but I don't like it i don't know you guys tell me what you think you like it you don't like it the rest are just regular henry's you have a winchester down there but this henry right here i don't know drop a comment down below you like it don't like it let me know amen brother amen my rights do not end where your feelings begin preach it I will say that this show has a ton of body armor. Body armor like every other table. It's insane how much body armor they have at this uh, this show. This show is actually freaking gargantuous. I don't know if the camera does justice or not. What, P Bear, what? Okay, you'll warm up, I promise. Um, but yeah, this show is huge. And it seems like every other table is body armor. Not a bad price either. 267, 199, 189. 149. Sorry, P Bear, hit your head again. I'm gonna give this boy a concussion before we leave today. Sorry, P Bear. Oh, look, you can have a gas mask from when mommy farts. Hashtag don't tell mommy. All right, guys, there you go. There's the gun show. So it was absolutely huge. There was no way I could do the entire gun show in this video. It was gargantuan. So I wasn't able to get all the video footage I wanted. Next time I come, I'm gonna have to be here first thing in the morning because the venue is just that big. So I apologize. I tried to get all the video I could, but literally impossible. But it was a very good show. I did enjoy the show. Was it worth the six hour drive? For you guys, absolutely it was worth the six hour drive. So drop a comment down below. Let me know, what did you guys think about this gun show? Did you guys see anything that you liked? Did you guys see anything you didn't like? Is there anything you guys wanna see on next month's visit? to the Miami Gun Show. Drop a comment down below, let me know. And as always guys, I will see you at, well, we will see you at the next gun show. Take care guys.